Understanding the Options Delta. Understanding the Options Delta gives you a valuable tool with which to make option trading decisions. The term Options Delta is one of the five Greeks that are used to calculate the price of an option. But understanding its significance can make a big difference to your trading decisions. In its simplest form, the delta is a number which describes the relationship between the movement in the price of the underlying stock and the option price that derives from it. Using at the money options as an example, we would be looking at an option whose exercise price is exactly the same as the current market price of the underlying stock. Whether we are talking call or put options, the at the money option always has a theoretical delta of 0.50 or 50%. The reason is because from this at the money position, the option contract has a 50-50 probability of expiring out of the money. This is because from now on, the market price of the underlying will move one way or the other, up or down. It doesn't matter which way it goes, the odds are 50% or 0.50 either way. Now, the further away from the strike price that the underlying stock moves, if that direction causes the option to go out of the money, then it is less likely that the option contract will have any intrinsic value at expiration date. Which is another way of saying that the probability of the option expiring in the money is reduced. So the delta decreases as a reflection of that new probability. Conversely, if the underlying moves in such a way that the rights in your option contract now have real value, making the option contract in the money, then the more likelihood there is that the option will expire with some intrinsic value. So the options delta increases, but only to a maximum of one or 100%, which indicates certainty. So let's see how we can use the options delta in trading decisions. Now that you understand how the options delta works, you can use this to your advantage when assessing the potential risk of any trade. Let's say, for example, that you want to use a put credit spread over an index-based ETF such as the SPY because you believe the index will either rise or at least remain above your chosen strike price by option expiration date. So you decide to sell put options at 100 points below the current price of the SPY and buy the same amount of put options at 110 points below, thus creating a 10 point credit spread. You observe that the options delta for the 100 strike price is 0.1 or 10%. This means that theoretically, there is only a 10% chance that the SPY is likely to fall below this level by option expiration date. In other words, there is a 90% chance that you get to keep the credit. So you enter the trade in the expectation that you have put the odds 90% in your favour of a successful outcome. The Delta has shown you this. But let's imagine that in the next two weeks, the SPY falls so that it moves closer to your sold put strike price. This being the case, the delta will increase to reflect the new probability that the SPY will close below your exercise price at expiration date. So if the delta becomes 0.25 or 25%, this means that there is now a 25% chance that the SPY will be below the sold strike price at expiration. Some say that the best and safest way to trade options is by adjusting your positions and managing by the numbers. These numbers include the options delta. This is particularly relevant when it comes to adjustable spreads such as credit spreads, calendar spreads and iron condors. Managing your open positions by the delta is a more scientific approach which is a good thing because after all option trading should be just another way of doing business and doing business is about managing risk.